Scott County is paying out possibly the largest settlement in state history for neglecting a man's health care in jail. Terrence Winborn is a double amputee after a devastating 39-hour stay in custody. The county is now paying him $12.2 million. Fox News Corn Hoggard is there live with the jail's history of trouble and the missed signs in this particular case. Corin. Yeah, Randy, the State Department of Corrections has previously cited this jail for violating state laws when it comes to checking on the well-being of inmates every 30 minutes. The attorneys for Winborn say that lack of accountability is one of the reasons what happened to him happened, as well as this jail trying to cut costs on medical care. Everyday life is a struggle for Terrence Winborn. Video shared by his attorney shows his damaged skin and how he adjusts his mechanical arm. It's really frustrating going back and forth. Doctors amputated both of Winborn's arms after his short stay at the Scott County Jail in August 2020. He you know, it's something would nobody want to go through, you know. And I really can't explain it because it's been so many times I thought I've been a pass away. Winborn vomited when he went to court the morning after he was booked into jail, hours after he'd sobered up. His attorneys say if he'd gotten help at that point, medical experts believe he'd still have both arms. He also wouldn't have had a heart attack or a stroke. Instead, his condition got progressively worse. Correctional officers called nurses about his medical condition a couple times over the next 30 hours, but they didn't send him to a hospital until he was gasping for air with an incredibly high blood pressure and no feeling in one hand. Even then, they didn't call an ambulance. It took about 45 minutes for an officer to get Winborn to a hospital three miles away. The $12.2 million settlement Scott County is paying Winborn includes about $2 million in medical bills he's already incurred. It doesn't include any forced changes to how the jail handles inmates who need medical care. So hopefully the amount and hearing from Mr. Winborn will be the force behind change. A county commissioners approved this settlement last night, but their only comment today was through their attorney who said he hopes this settlement helps Mr. Winborn live the kind of quality of life and gets the kind of medical assistance he needs from this point forward. Live in Scott County, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.